Hi, welcome to the face mask store. Did you want to get a custom face mask today? Okay, awesome. Well, I just have to ask you a couple of questions and then I'll take your face measurements and we'll get you a beautiful custom made mask. All right. Okay, so you can keep your mask on for right now. Um, let's see. Okay, so first thing, what is your name? Okay, and your last name? Is that an S? Okay. Alright, and your date of birth? Yeah, I mean, there's not really like a huge requirement for getting a mask, but it's just if you're a certain age, we like to have a parent here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and how did you hear about us? Okay. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of people, they do end up seeing someone on Instagram where one. It's really hard to get in. Um, I don't know. I think some celebrity wore one of the face masks that I made and now it's been really crazy for people getting an appointment it's just I'm swamped there's just people always trying to get in and literally offering more money for face masks and I'm like I'm not I'm not gonna do that that's that's crazy I just ever when I get one it just it's gonna take a little longer so um yeah it looks like let's see I think yeah, you actually have had your appointment for a while. Oh. Yeah, so. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's alright. I can... I'm trying to think. If they also wanted to come in to get a mask. You know, it's fine. Um, I will ju just get your number. Yeah, what is that? So, if I have any cancellations pop up, I will call you and then you can have them come in and you'll just, since you were going to do it for two people anyway, um, it'll be easy. I'll just, I'm sure someone will end up canceling and I have a waiting list, but I'll just put you at the top of it. She already had an appointment for two people. Okay, no, that's no problem at all. Okay, so I think that's it. Um... Did you have a certain fabric that you're wanting, like a design? We have different um, swatches and everything. I, I think you should have gotten that in the mail. Okay, yeah. All right, perfect, that's a beautiful one. Oh, let me see. Okay, you like that texture. All right, yeah, that's easy. Um, Perfect. Alright, I think that's everything that I need on this. Let me just make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, so the next thing that we'll do, let me just put this down real quick. So the next thing that we'll do is I will clean your face off and I'll examine your face with a light, little light sword looking thing. Um, it just helps me kind of see the place where the mask will fall directly onto your face and just to make sure there's nothing that I need to like be aware of. Like if there's a mole or something where maybe I would make the mask just a little taller, a little shorter. Um, cause there's a little bit of room that you have here and I don't want it to irritate anything near your face. So I'll get a good look with that. Um, and then I'll take some measurements and yeah, that will be everything that I need. Um, and it takes about, <sighs> I usually make all of the mask on Fridays. So it'll take probably about a week to get it after I get everything. 
but I'll call you and let you know when it's ready. You can pick it up or I can mail it to you. Okay. Well, if you want me to mail it to you, I need to get your address. Okay. No, that's fine. We'll have your number so I can just call you to get it. Okay. All right. So let me... Yeah, we can... in this state with masks so since I work here I'm the only one I don't have to wear a mask I know it's yeah I know I probably should wear one to just showcase my work but yeah I know okay let's see would you like me to put a mask on I, I should have asked you that I didn't even okay <laughs> Oh, you did? All right. I thought that I put it in that questionnaire. I haven't gotten anyone that had requested it, so I just hadn't been wearing one while I was in the office. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. is going to go. It's like this is what I've got this little area here. I think it's good. Okay. And there. Alright. And here. skin. I can't. I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's a little more here. Okay, I'll just tap here. Yeah, I'm going to sure that we get that. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Do you have a preference on where you want it to sit? Alright. Mm -hmm. measurements. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the distance from your ear to your nose. You know, sometimes when the mask will just like pull in the back of your ear, it's a little uncomfortable. This will prevent that from happening. Thank you. 
entire head. Let's get this here. I'm gonna measure it. It probably won't seem like they're that important for a mask, but I like to make the mask um, Design it in a way that will make the parts of your face that you can see more seem more symmetrical So sometimes our eye like one eye will be a little higher than the other one So I will just slightly if that's the case adjust the mask in such a way where it won't be noticeable, but like if you take a photo or something, it will just seem a little more symmetrical. Um, and I know it's a little thing, but it does make a difference. Everybody's we're in the Instagram age, so okay, let's see here. your chin. It's just a style preference. It doesn't really make a difference either way. Some people just like it to go down a little further. They have like, you know, I don't know why exactly some people like beards. They want it to be cupped into their face mask. I, do, I think it's just, like, I don't know. Okay, yeah, we can, I, I, I really like the normal look. There are some people Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm a little hungry. I haven't had lunch. It's about lunchtime. Okay. Yeah, we'll have it in there. Um, hmm. Just seeing, like, 
So did you want it, it to hook around your ears? The other option that we have is to get an extra little device made on it. So this is for people that have more sensitive ears. I, the way I design it, it's not going to put a lot of pressure on your ears. However, um, if you don't want it to hit the back of your ears at all, um, I can put a thing on it that essentially it will grab the two stretchy parts on the back of the mask and it creates tension so it makes the mask stay tight on your face but because it hooks in the back essentially um, it prevents there from being any sort of pressure on the back of your ears so it's more comfortable the only issue can come into play is like your hairstyle or whatever but you know your hair is pretty short so it probably wouldn't be an issue and it would technically i would say it's probably more comfortable because you know at the end of the day after enough pressure on your even if it's a little bit it can start to get annoying okay so you would um i have some that are a clasp and then i have some that are more like a like it's kind of hard to explain like the the clasp ones just like this little thing just like opens there's some that are a button i would say the clasp is a little more easier to put on than the button but with the button you can get a special design on the button and so some people just like to have a little flare on their mask especially if you're doing like the bedazzled stuff on the front um okay it's just the clasp all right okay um, Do you want to add any other things to the front of the mask? Um, any sort of like embroidery or any jewels or anything like that? Um, yeah, like the thing that will come up and you can put it like into a hat. Yeah, certainly. Um, we have two versions of the ones that will like hook into a hat we have one that's just more of like a sheer material so you can see through it and it's not protected like spf or anything and we have this other material that's more you have to always wear it with a hat because it doesn't flip up actually it's just a um i guess technically you don't have to wear it with a hat but a lot of people do it's just a plastic part that is attached to on the front and it, they kind of function as sunglasses and so there's two different materials that you can get on it one is more tinted and the one's a mirror reflecting you can't see through at all it's more of like, like a privacy like a privacy screen on your eyes okay so you do want that one, the mirror okay i like to wear that one at the airport <laughs> since like you know don't make eye contact with people and they won't talk to you <laughs> okay yeah so that one it will be harder to right here throughout your it's just like a hard piece of plastic that will go right here and the face mask is fa fabric attached to it and i put a special foam that will go right here between the two things to prevent the eyes from fogging up um when you're breathing yeah i know i know I love it too, it's really cool. So I just need to get this last little thing here since you want to do that. Next here in your forehead is just so important. So you see how high up we want it to go. Around here.
like I also said, if I have any cancellations, I will call you for that too, so you can get um, your friend in to get their mask. Alright, well, that looks like everything. Um, it was so nice to meet you, and you can put your mask back on. Do you need anything else? Do you have any questions? Okay, perfect. Alright, well, I look forward to seeing you again and getting you your mask. Yeah, thanks for stopping.